Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are once again on the T-54 and on Himmelsdorf, or at least a variation of Himmelsdorf. So, I think after this match I'm going to have to retire this tank from videos for a little while, as well as this map, because there's just been too much of it lately. Uh, but it always is a fun tank to play, and it always is a fun map to play. It goes well for me every time. And given this is not the standard game modes, we only have one flag, Taking the hill, I find, is always really smart. Normally, you'd be like, oh no, this can only be trouble for all your heavies to take the hill like this. But in this game mode, <coughs> excuse me, I'm always happy to see it. So, here's what I like to do. It's exactly what I'm going to do here. Now, given that you don't have too many enemy forces up on the hill, I like to speed over to the left there. I have to duck behind, take some cover. We don't want that T-54, for example, to hit us get into this spot. Now, this spot is very nice. Not only will it allow you to scout anyone that's right behind that rock within 50 meters, but it'll also give you a nice shot at anybody that's over there, such as that T-29 right there. Now, that T-29, he's in some serious trouble now. That was a big mistake for him to be over there, but not a whole lot he can do about it now other than go haul down. Now, I would have had a nice shot on him there, but that Type 59 of ours got in my way. You better watch where your gun barrels are pointed, guys. That one just went right into the front of his turret and did nothing. He won't be the only one to get in my way, though. Oh, here's the T-29. Nope. Tried aiming for that weak point, but just couldn't quite do it. It's it's a tough one to hit. Although, looks like he's got more things in his mind than just me, so that gives a chance. And our armor is thick enough that we should be able to bounce standard around some of Tier 7 all day long. There we go. More shots into him. Now we just wait. Our team is starting to push up to where we are now. They've kind of clued in and, ooh, you almost got yourself shot, friendly. I really wish you guys would stop doing that. You got the kill. It was kind of a kill steal. I wanted that kill. But, whatever. And this corner is about to get very, very crowded. Okay, there's two E75s. There's, what, five of us here, plus a couple more back behind us on the hill. So it looks like they're shooting down uh, into the city. So I decided, okay, time to get out of here put one into the E75 and then just run before they can shoot me. They've got bigger fish to fry, they will be pursuing. However, their team will, will quite possibly, if they're paying attention to the minimap, know that I'm coming. So I need to be careful going over this hill, for example. If there isn't a couple of big TDs or anything like that sitting down at the bottom of the hill. And I've got to be careful going around this corner as well, because who knows what's around there. Luckily, nothing was there. So now we're on the hunt looking for an enemy. I'm thinking, oh god, this could be a really bad idea. Oh, there's the, the scout over there. 1390s over yonder. I'm not sure where there's by the flag. Looks like we need to kind of get a move on, but I'm sure the Tiger 2 and the AT-15 can at least slow him down. Oh, we finally found our first person, our first potential victim. The ISU 152. So now it looks like he thinks that we're going to keep going. I'm assuming that I'm spotted as well. That we're going to go right around. We're gonna, that we were going to go straight there, but instead we're going to hang a right, hang this left, and hopefully come up right behind him. Hopefully he won't even be facing our direction. And there he is. And boom, dead. <laughs> he didn't last long. Now then, we have an IS-8 up here. Looks like he's at 72% health still. I'm kind of thinking, ah, oh, he's alone. AT-15's dead. Looks like there's at least two or three people at their base, at our base. The shared base capturing. So I'm going to take a second here to load a heat round. It's a premium round because I think I might need a full frontal armor of this guy. And the first one went right through, no problem. He shot us, but it bounced. I'm going to try to put a second one into it. Ready to his front armor again. Try to get behind him. It's a little hard to do that when we're so close to this wall. He can try to push us over like that. And then he seems to be not capable of turning his tank and his turret at the same time. I guess he's just, he's just one of those players. <laughs> Oh well. Now there's the 1390. He's trying to scout us. Takes a shot at us. That was an extremely lucky shot on our on our part. But man, we took no damage from that IS-8, aside from a little bit from him ramming us, trying to outmaneuver us. But outmaneuvering a medium like this in a heavy like that, not the easiest thing to do. Especially in an IS-8 when your armor isn't that great. There we go. We reset the cap. Looks like we've got this victory. We're victorious. I should have stopped and aimed that shot. I could have got the kill, but instead, uh, it just hit his track. And I should have stopped and aimed this next one too. 
but between this T30, T34 T getting in our way, and just having several allies over there finishing them off quickly, just didn't quite have the time. So anyways guys, not sure when the next T54 video will be, but I think you've had lots of those, same with the Himmelsdorf ones, unless they're really good, I think I'm going to have to kind of set them aside for now, but hope you enjoyed, I'll see you for the next one.